Of all the book arts and paper arts, collage is my favorite. But why is that? In today's video, I've got nine reasons to love collage art. So the first reason to love collage art is you hardly need any art supplies. You only need three things to collage. You need papers, you need a substrate, and in this case, this is a small glue book just made from some papers that I'm using as backgrounds. And you need a glue stick. You can also use scissors, you can use a ruler as a straight edge to tear papers, and then you can use a bunch of other things like washi tape and stencils and ink and rubber stamps, but those things are definitely extra. You don't need to have them. The second reason to love collage art is that it's extremely flexible with your time. You can create collages with literally five minute segments of time throughout your day. If you're a person that is not able to devote a lot of time to art, collage is really flexible with that. It works because you don't need to worry about wet mediums like paints, uh, watercolors, things like that. It's just papers that you move around and you don't even need to glue them down until you are happy with the placement. If you don't have a lot of time or space to play around with collage, just make sure that you put it on something like a tray that you can pick up and put out of reach so that it doesn't get bumped into or uh, any of your papers knocked out of place. I talk about more of these kinds of things in a free course that I put up called Five Minutes at a Time. I'll put the link in the description in case you are interested in learning more about that. The third reason to love collage art is that you get to play with papers. What kinds of paper do you like to play with? Do you like to play with vintage papers, pattern papers, papers with textures, papers from magazines, old papers, new papers? Maybe you have some pattern papers that you've bought because you like the sets of different patterns and the way the colors go together. Those are a great thing to use in collage. You can use them to layer or use them as backgrounds, things like that. Maybe you've got a small collection of paper treasures. Maybe you've got some, a set of postage stamps or a set of old postcards or, or photographs. Those are also great things to collage with. And you can decide if you want to scan them and to use the copies, or if you want to play around and use the originals in your collages. Next, the fourth reason to love collage art is that you can play around with different themes and eras. So for themes, maybe you want to collage things that go along just with flowers, or I have a couple of glue books that are dedicated just to colors. For example, I have a book just with red items in it. I also have glue books that are devoted just to space, for example, or to handwriting. Um, and of course, I have a glue book just with postage stamps. With eras, you can look for papers and set aside papers that are just reminiscent of a certain era, say of the 60s. Say you like fashion from the 60s, or you like house design from the 60s, or you like old recipes that come from that time. And I'm thinking specifically of my grandmother who had a recipe book just with Jell-O, <laughs> Jell-O recipes. Uh, that, I guess that was really popular. Gelatin was pretty popular in the 50s and 60s. So that would be a neat thing to play around with in a collage glue book. The fifth reason to love collage art is that it travels well. I took a glue book just like this one with me when I went on a trip overseas. I also pre-packed, uh, prepared some papers that I brought along and of course a, a glue stick. But then while I was uh, in my destination, I kept an eye out for interesting papers that I found at restaurants or um, from events that I went to things that reminded me of where I was. Later on when I had time, say at the hotel or wherever I was staying, I could glue them into my glue book and keep them as mementos of places that I have been. Another thing I like to do is prepare materials that I take with me in the car. I have these bins, these nesting bins, and 
they I got them pretty pretty cheaply at Target. I think I got them at the bargain bin section for three dollars a piece. And inside on the top, I have I have these papers, just a bunch of random papers. And then underneath, I am able to have my glue stick and a little tin with some very small papers, like like um, postage stamps, for example and also any scissors or, or cutting materials. The sixth reason to love collage art is because you can go tiny, huge, or something in between. Here I've got an example of some collages I did on some playing cards, and then I bound them together with these little rings. And I've got these ink box cards, which are three inches by three inches, and are typically made on a master board and then cut down. At the other end of the spectrum, I have large canvases that I've done with collage. Here I've got an example of a collage I did on a large canvas using papers from French textbooks and postcards. The seventh reason to love collage art is because you can use it to bridge into other book arts. With collage, I am constantly looking for glue books. I'm looking for places to put my collages into. A great place to put a collage is in a junk journal, preferably one that's made by you. Junk journals are another way we show our appreciation for paper, so why not place your collage creations in there? Altered books are another example. Take a beautiful book with a cover that you like, and you can change it, change the cover, add things to it, or keep it as is, and then add collages inside the pages of that altered book. One thing you may have to remember is before you begin collaging in those pages, you might need to remove some of them so that you decrease the thickness of the book. That way, as you add layers, it will um, even out. The eighth reason to love collage art is that you can add mixed media to it. Once you have collage on top of that, you can add modeling paste with a stencil, you can add ink with a stencil, you can add ink and rubber stamping, maybe you like using acrylic paints or watercolors, all of those things can be added to a collage. If you're just getting started with collage art, one of the things that I've recommended in the past is that if you take junk mail, for example, look for things like heavier cardstock or tri-fold brochures, for example. Those ones you can add layers of materials on top of glue, paper, and then things like paints or modeling paste, and it will hold up really nicely. And it's a great place for you to experiment if you're not quite sure, if you're not quite confident enough to be doing these type of layers in a journal. And the ninth reason to love collage art is that you can send it in the mail. You probably know this about me, but I am a big fan of mail art also called correspondence art. I love creating postcards from scratch and sending them through the mail. So on one side, on the front, I create a collage in something the size of about four inches by six inches. And on the back, I use things like washi tape or rubber stamps to just write a small note, a small message, and then mail it off to a pen pal one characteristic of collage art is that it tends to be pretty flat if you're just using paper. So it's very easy to put into an envelope and mail it off that way. So these are my nine reasons to love collage art. If you know of any others, please let me know in the comments. I am curious to know how other people appreciate collage art. Next up is my video on reasons to love junk journaling. If you haven't seen that, check it out. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.